Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For a radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com here in Mississippi, we're glad you all could join us. Also, let's tune in to our friends worldwide. Thanks to iHeartRadio and Amazon Music. We're glad you all could join us as well. This is part of our Music and News segment here at WYAD. Approximately 1.6 million Americans suffer from a condition called IBD. And if you're one of them, you may feel misunderstood by your friends and family members who often minimize your condition. But thankfully, there's a new campaign called Together We Know IBD. It's designed to break through the misconceptions surrounding it, as well as motivate people living with the condition to talk with their health care providers about their condition, the research that's involved, and more. Here to talk to us more about it, we're excited to welcome Dr. Satisha Aduru to our broadcast. We're going to talk to Dr. Aduru not only about IBD, but also where you all can go for more information and to be able to see more information about the research too. Dr. Duru, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> thank you very much for having me, Cyrus. Well, this is an important conversation and it's something that we like to be able to share with our audience during our News You Can Use segment. So first of all, for those who are just now discovering it, Dr. Duru, what exactly is IBD? IBD here is a chronic inflammatory condition of the bowel. IBD means inflammatory bowel disease. It affects 1.6 million Americans um, uh, throughout the country. It affects both uh, uh, genders, male and female, equally. And I think that is why this conversation is so important then, Dr. Aduro. So what are the major causes of IBD? IBD uh, causes are multifactorial. Uh, It is caused by genetic factors, immune-mediated factors uh, where your immune system uh, reacts adversely to bacteria. It is triggered by diet and stress. IBD is not IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, which is a non-inflammatory condition of the bowel. Um, IBD is of two types, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is characterized by chronic inflammation, uh, which affects any part of the GI tract, while ulcerative colitis is chronic inflammation affecting only the colon and rectum. Ulcerative colitis affects (coughs) the top lining of the colon, um, uh, causing abdominal pain, diarrhea, and mucus production. And I'm so glad that you mentioned because some of our audience may be familiar uh, with, you know, with, with, uh, with other diseases. I'm so glad that you were able to clarify exactly what IBD is and also the causes of it. So I mentioned in my introduction, Dr. Aduru, that, of course, part of the important thing about this is the research. And as you said, since it's something that in- impacts the lives of men and women, why is diversity so important when it comes to research for IBD? <coughs> Research in uh, in general, um, IBD treatments uh, uh, are a result of science. Over the past 20 years, there's been a lot of research into IBD, which developed uh, 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 newer insights in the disease process itself. Uh, but what we've noticed is with new research, uh, as more volunteers participate in research, we develop a a better understanding of how diseases affect diverse communities. And research has shown uh, that these diseases affect different races and ethnicities differently, which is why diversity is so important when uh, when we're looking at research. Uh, The number of cases uh, is rising in these diverse communities. Um, uh, It is very important for... uh, these communities to have a voice in in clinical research. By being more inclusive, uh, we can provide opportunities uh, to participate in clinical research, and also it increases awareness of the disease process itself. The research learnings directly translate into real-life knowledge, which impacts 
human health. And that's why, again, this uh, this conversation is so important. And as I mentioned also, of course, it helps people to not only to break through the misconceptions about it, but also, of course, to find out why it's important for us to have conversations about uh, our, this with our doctors. I do want to ask you before you leave us here, uh, Dr. Duru, for our audience out there, is this something that is typically um, that that the individual has to go in and ask to be tested for, or is this something that can come up in regular checkups? <laughs> it does not come in regular checkups. <clears throat> um, uh, we patients uh, usually see their uh, uh, care providers, and uh, uh, the care providers. Uh, uh, based on the symptoms, do further testing. Uh, most of these patients uh, will need uh, interventional procedures to, uh, uh, to diagnose uh, uh, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and to differentiate this from other non-inflammatory uh, conditions of the bowel. Got you. Well, that's why, again, we're glad to have you here with us. Again, everyone, Dr. Satisha Duru has been our guest, joining us from the GI Specialist of Houston, talking with us about IBD, what you need to know about the causes of it, but also the importance of research as well. Dr. Duru, where can our audience go for more information? Uh, we'd recommend uh, uh, speaking to your care provider and also visiting weknowibd.com, that is W E. K-N-O-W-I-B-D dot com. All right, and we'll make sure that we link that up for our audience. Dr. Duru, thank you so much for the great work you're doing and for educating others, and looking forward to having you back on the broadcast again. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Be glad to do it. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, again, part of our News and News segment here at WYAD. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.